there was a goodly procession upon Palace Green on the Thursday after Trinity Sunday in honor of Corpus Christi Day, which was the principal feast at that time. And it goes on to tell us that there would be a kind of general gathering of all the occupations, all the members of the trade companies, uh, we might call them guilds, who would all line up in two rows outside the north door of the cathedral here, each according to his rank, according to his degree. And they'd form a kind of avenue running from the north door to a place called uh, Windshot Yate. So we'd have, if you can imagine, a row of uh, banners, of guild banners on the west or the right-hand side and torches on the left-hand side. That's how it's described in the rites. And meanwhile, over in the marketplace, a procession is starting to form of various churches in front of St. Nicholas's church here. So Nicholas is, is important because it housed the shrine of Corpus Christi until the Reformation. It's where it was kept in a feratory in a special place for the shrine. And the rites of Durham tells us a little bit what it looked like. The rite says, it was gilded all of gold, a goodly thing to behold. And then it bore a four square box of crystal, which held the, the host, uh, the consecrated bread and wine for the mass. And on the day, on Corpus Christi day, the shrine would have been carried by four clergymen from St. Nicholas's church in a grand procession, followed by members of all of the other parishes in the area.